hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am with another important topic uh, as far as video examination is concerned this is gauss elimination method as you already know it is the topic of the linear algebra where you have to deal with the lot of matrices over there so this is the uh, seven marks question in the video examination so gauss elimination method is a direct method of solving the equations solving the system of equations so questions will be like that Solve the system of equations by the using by using Gauss elimination method. Equations will be given x plus y plus z is equal to 9, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0, 2x minus 5y plus 7 z is equal to 52. So these are the system of equations. You have to uh, use uh, Gauss elimination method. What does it mean? You have to first uh, write uh, the equations in the form of matrices. You have to make augmented matrices right so what does the augmented matrices mean let me tell you so my dear friends this is the first equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9 you have to write down the coefficients of these variables like x y z what is the coefficient of x 1 what is the coefficient of y 1 what is the uh, coefficient of z 1 like that so i have written here the first equation as 1 1 1 right then 2x plus y minus z so 2 is the coefficient so right here 2 then y uh, the coefficient of y is 1 and z is 1 right so this is second equation then third equation 2 5 7 so this is a uh, 2 minus 5 7 over here so this is 2 minus 5 uh, yes sorry this is plus over here this is plus in the equation over there so this is plus 5 and 7 over there and sorry this is minus 1 right then you have to write down these variables in the form of column matrices over there so x y z here x y z then accordingly this 9 0 and 52 9 0 and 52 right this is the uh, what we call augmented matrices it is in the form of this uh, i call as a over here this i call x and this is b over here so it is a x is equal to b but uh, there are uh, three unknowns here x y z are unknowns so you have to solve this question so it is not possible if you just uh, cross multiply these uh, particular variables with the numbers it will get again you will get get the same equations here so i will take this a and b so that i will solve it uh, togetherly so that we will uh, get some results over there so let me solve first this uh, particular question so i will take this matrices over here 1 1 1 2 1 and minus 1 right then 2 5 and 7 then this matrices i have to write i will write it as in the form of it will be also written as 1 is 2 is 2 is 2 9 0 52 so it will become one matrices over here right then i have to follow some transformations like uh, in the rank of matrices which i already earlier discussed over there i will put the link in the description box if you want to find out the rank of the matrix right so uh, uh, let me do some transformations over here so i will apply transformation on row 2 is to row 2 minus 2 times r1 so if i uh, just minus uh, this uh, particular row that is or r2 so 2 minus 2 times r1 that is 0 it will become 0 right so just do the transformation 1 1 1 and i am doing transformation on row 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 and this is 1 minus 2 times r1 it will become minus 1 and this one minus 1 minus 2 times r1 it will become minus 3 over here and 0 minus 2 times r1 that is 0 minus 18 it will become minus 18 right then i can do also simultaneously another transformation for row 3 over here so r3 is to r3 minus 2 times r1 so 2 minus 2 that is 0 and 5 minus uh, 2 times r1 that is 1 over here sorry 5 minus 2 uh, sorry it is 3 over here so 5 minus 2 is 3 then 7 minus uh, 2 r1 7 minus 2 is 5 over here and 52 minus 2 times uh, 9 so it will become 52 minus 18 which is equal to 34 over here so you will get this matrices right then further transformation i will do uh, in the next page so right so it is 1 1 1 and 9 so i will apply transformation on row third this time so this is row 3 i will write here r3 is to r3 plus 3 times r2 right so this is r3 0 plus 3 times 0 it will become 0 3 times plus 3 it will become 0 over here then 5 minus 3 times uh, r2 so it will become 5 minus 9 it will become minus 4 and this will become 34 minus uh, 30 sorry 34 minus 3 times 18 it will become 56 so 
56 minus 34 will you will get minus 20 in this case over here right so i can write it in the form of if you just take out this minus as common and this minus as common it will become positive right 1 1 1 9 0 minus 1 minus 3 and minus 18 and i will divide this term by 4 over here so it will become minus 1 so it will be easy to solve further right so this is 4 and divided by 4 it will become sorry this is positive i have taken minus as out over here then 0 0 and this will become positive 1 and this will become uh, 20 divided by 4 upon it will become 5 so rank of the matrices in this case so as row of a is equal to row of a b is equal to 3 so there are three non-zero rows so i am taking as rank rank of the matrices a and rank of the matrices a b which we calculated here it is equal to 3 which is equal to the number of unknowns right so unknowns are 3 as you already know x y z are the unknowns over here so there will be some solutions so let me uh, find out these uh, particular solutions now so i can write it as 1 1 1 0 1 3 0 0 1 and now i can write x y z x y z is equal to 9 18 and 5 over here so this is the matrices i have taken it outside and making uh, these possible into this uh, inserted these uh, variables x y z over here right now it is easy to calculate this particular matrices right so 1 into x is x 1 into y is y so plus y plus 1 into z is z is equal to this 9 right uh, i know already you will be too matured to solve these uh, matrices over here as it is a too simple part too uh, is a simple part over there to do calculations on matrices then 0 into x is 0 no need to write plus uh, 1 into y is y plus 3 times z so y plus 3 z is equal to 18 i will call it first equation second equation right then uh, 0 into x is 0 0 into y is 0 1 into z is z is equal to 5 so i will put at it as uh, 3 uh, 3 equation here so z is equal to 5 put this z is equal to 5 in this second equation so it will become y plus 3 times 5 is equal to 18 so y plus 15 is equal to uh, 18 over here so y is equal to 18 minus 15 that is 3 so i am getting y is equal to 3 now put this y is equal to 3 in again second equation so it will become y plus 3 into 5 that is 15 uh, plus sorry 15 is equal to 18 and also y is equal to sorry you have to write down here uh, so no, no no need to put this particular uh, value in the second equation you just put uh, this value in the first equation so that we will get x uh, value right so cut this format over here so just x plus y is equal to 3 plus z is equal to 5 is equal to 9 so x is equal to 9 minus 5 plus 3 8 9 minus 8 so x is equal to 1 so this is the uh, answer for this particular type, type particular variety of questions that is x is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 z is equal to 5 so these were the unknowns which we uh, were supposed to calculate in this case so i hope uh, this question is very easy to tackle over there and i hope uh, you people will understand it with ease over there so thanks for watching my videos